lovelies. So today, just be prepared for me to cry. Okay, that's what I'm prepared for. Um, so for those of you that don't know, my life with chronic pain was a project that I was doing this entire year. I vlogged every day of my life and I shared it with you guys. And that was put on my heart by God and I didn't know why. I thought it was stupid. I thought it was silly. I thought it was embarrassing. It challenged me in ways that I didn't even know were possible. Um, you guys have seen me at my absolute worst and you guys have seen me in some of the happiest moments of the year. You guys have seen me with the people that I love, with my best friends, with my, well you haven't seen my family, but you've heard my mom and um, you've seen me cry, you've seen me <laughs> without a tooth, um, you've seen me with my face swelling. Um, I think I maybe missed three days the whole year, um, two of which were probably like internet things and a couple were uh, I physically couldn't talk, which were just recently um, when I had facial surgery and um, I still, I did, I vlogged for you guys right when I got back from surgery. I had my mom hold the camera and um, I never thought that, you know, being codependent and having to be so perfect all the time that I would be on YouTube sending videos to 280 of you guys now or something. People to watch me with no tooth and, you know, crying about my dog or being ridiculous. and. You know, those are the things that happened, and but there are so many things that happened that I was not prepared for, um, that I was not expecting. That's the word I was thinking of. And I was going to sit here and write it all down and go through like the things that I've learned, but I thought it would just be a lot better to just speak from the heart and talk to you guys about this project. And what's going to happen next. Um, so for 365 days, it was crazy because at the very beginning, there were points I almost gave up, especially the days that I was like in my pajamas looking a hot mess and I had to videotape something for y'all. Um, it seemed like years at the beginning and now at the end of this year, it seems like it flew by. Um, I never ever expected people that I didn't know to watch my videos. I thought I would be putting them on Facebook, you know, pasting them to Facebook and people would re watch them there and my friends and family and stuff would watch them. I never knew or expected that people that I didn't know would not only watch my videos but become a community. and because some of them become my best friends and I just think those are the coolest things that can happen in life is like those really unexpected almost shocking things I never thought that I would make such good friends and be blessed with people that I get to talk to all the time and to relate to and when I sit here and just babble people go hey I get it. I know what you're saying. And I'm like, good. That makes one of us because half the time I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but there is something really special about speaking your truth and having someone say, I get it. You're not crazy. Well, unless just both of us are crazy because I have the same thing happens to me or I go through the same thing. And, um, it's something that, it's just something you feel in your soul that what, you know, with chronic pain and chronic illness, it's so hard to explain to other people. I mean, no matter how much you explain it, 
you never know. You never really know. And a lot of times I have a hard time even explaining it. And um, to meet other people that get it. And it's not even, it, it, the interesting part of this project is, is that not all of my friends are my life with chronic pain. I have people that love unboxings, I have people that love makeup, I have people that love books, I have people that love the shows that I watch, like, just don't even, just wait until the second episode of Mob Wives comes out, whoa, whoa, mom, what, I will have an Obsessions video soon, but you guys have just accepted me how I am. One day I might be talking about how my bladder is irritated and everybody cringes, one day I might do my makeup and show you guys getting ready. One day I might take you out with my friends to eat. And one day I might do a wonderful unboxing. And you guys just accept me. And you guys, you know, a lot of people were, you know, like, well, you really need to focus your, your channel on something and have just kind of like a brand. And I'm like, I, no, thank you, though, for the advice. But... I wanted to show my life and my interests and each day it's a, it might be something different. One day, you know, my chronic illness might be really on my heart and that's what I would talk about. And the next day, I might really want to talk about a lipstick or an unboxing. And I just want to thank you guys so much for making this experience so wonderful, so eye-opening. I thought that I would, I was doing this for other people to spread awareness, to talk about things that maybe people didn't want to talk about. And I did those things, but I thought that this what the channel was for. And see, here I go. But what it ended up being is something that I needed so badly. And, um, you know, I'm surrounded by people and I have the best friends and family anybody could ask for. And I didn't think it could get any better. And um, it just shows, like, obedience and um, just being so blessed by people caring so much and um, validating me and just making me not feel alone and um, it's so funny because when I first started this I was in Florida here and I thought it was so weird because I was by myself talking to myself and now it's like when you call your your sister every day or you call your mom every day this is like my conversation talking to you guys and I don't feel alone ever because at some point in my day I'm going to pick up my camera and I'm going to talk to you guys about whatever I want because you guys accept me for how I am and you understand me and I just think that that's the most amazing thing in the whole wide world and I feel so blessed by Everyone that watches my videos, even if you've watched just one video, even if you just watched this video, I feel, I mean, when I say thank you to you guys and I hug you guys, I really truly mean it. And when I say that like the brightest part of my day is reading your guys' comments, I mean, I think this has probably been the best year of my life. And... I truly think that there were parts of it that my depression really could have gotten so much worse if I didn't have the bright spot in my day of reading your guys' comments and no matter what they were, if they were just like, hi Emily, thanks, or hugs, or whatever it was. Um, and then beyond that, just receiving messages and emails from you guys and connecting more and, and um, 
some of you sharing your stories with me, um, that affects me so deeply because I feel so honored that you share um, personal details about your life and your journey and what has gotten you to where you are and understanding you more. Um, I think I, I don't even know what to say back to them half the time because I'm so affected by them and I'm so um, overwhelmed but in the best possible way. I just feel so blessed and humbled. I mean, oh my gosh, has this experience humbled me. I, I honestly, getting into it, I was a little bit afraid that, well, I was afraid of failure, and I was afraid that I would kind of get a big head, you know, like, oh, look, there's 10 people that watch my video, haha, <laughs> but I really, at this point, I'm so humbled by each and every view, each and every comment, each and every person that I've connected with, I just feel so lucky to be able to go through this experience and talk to each of one of you and now to just be able to sit here and talk to the camera and know that you guys are going to be receptive. I went into this, I mean even in my description it talks about people that are bullies. I really, I mean I've been on the internet and playing internet type things for years and I've always experienced like trolling and bullying and I'm f I was fine with it. I never worried about that going into it but I expected it and I not once have I had a negative experience this entire year and that's insane to me. I mean insane. I just, I feel like this whole experience was so blessed and meant to be and it just, there was nothing bad about it. I, there were times where I got like a little bit afraid, you know, because there was an expectation and a pressure that I started putting on myself and then I broke down with it and then started just showing you guys, you know, just me being a hot mess and once I got past that point of really showing you like raw me um, and you guys accepting that it really changed who I am and it changed me as a friend and as a person and um, it's changed Bella I mean look she's still making fleece beds in the background she used to never do that except for she does it every video but you know progress um but no I just I love you guys so much and uh throughout the year a couple people have um you know gone back and started watching my videos and they realize like holy crap like this is a project that's just for a year what are you going to do after this like you can't stop making videos and um being codependent I really wanted to like you know, like, what, God, what do you want me to do with this channel after this? What do I want to do with this? You know, what do I think is fair? And what do I think is possible? Because I definitely could not have done this without God this entire year. I mean, I haven't committed to doing something every single day ever. So then committing to it when I'm chronically ill, like, that, what, what? I did something every single day for a year? I mean, that's like saying you're going to go on a diet for a New Year's resolution. It doesn't work out so well. It works for like a month, maybe two, and then you're good. You go back to the hamburgers and french fries. <laughs> but I did it, and so I really was looking for direction, and I'm just going to do what feels right to me, and that's never leaving you guys. I can't imagine my life without that I think I probably will st still I will probably have to like I was thinking about this last night and I thought going a day purposefully not taping something for you guys is gonna be so freaking weird like what 
I mean, I feel like I'd be, like, skipping work, you know? Like, but it's not work. I mean, like, skipping school, like, playing hooky or... And then the other side is I just miss you guys. Like, when my face was blown up and I looked like the elephant man and I had surgery in my mouth and I... I... I, <laughs> I was begging God to heal me or send me to someone that could or have the emergency room open I mean the urgent care open earlier and at the same time I was thinking I really want to talk to my friends on YouTube I want to make videos and um, I missed you guys and I wanted to let you guys know what was going on and I worried that you guys were worried because I know you do and I it's just uh, I just cannot say enough about how much I love you guys, appreciate you guys, the advice you've given me, the opinions that you've given me, the honesty you've shared with me, um, the love that you guys have not only showed to me, but to one another and this little community of misfits in my mind. You know, we're, we're so different, but we all connect and you know, there's people that have different illnesses than me. There are people that are not ill at all. And there are people that, you know, have weird things that are going on, not necessarily diagnosed or know what's going on. Or there's people that are just, you know, just getting a diagnosis. And there's people that have been diagnosed and having issues for years. And we're all coming together and supporting one another. And it just blows my mind I just think it's the coolest thing ever and it was so unexpected and just such a delight I cannot I probably should just stop here because I will keep saying the same things over and over again because I just feel blessed come here come here come here I just come here I gave you a hug just too much oh wait go ahead sorry um no I just love you guys and as far as the future of my channel I am just gonna keep doing what I do and that's if I want to talk to you guys I'm gonna talk to you guys if I'm I'm gonna have two wantable boxes coming and I'm gonna do unboxings for you guys uh, I probably am not going to do every day unless that's something God puts on my heart, but as far as I know right now, it's not, but I will keep videos coming for you guys and hopefully um, it'll give me a little bit more time to uh, give you videos that are edited, um, And but I will continue to do unedited videos because um, I know you guys love those and that's, that's why. The reason that it that perfectly sums it up you guys love my unedited videos where I just am talking about complete craziness for 25 minutes I mean the rule of YouTube is you catch someone's attention in the first five seconds when do I ever do that never and then over five minutes is like a death sentence like people are not gonna watch it but you guys love my videos that are like 25 minutes long and I love watching them too and uh, not myself I don't like watching myself but um, that's why I like the unedited videos because I don't have to actually watch them back but uh, yeah that's just so cool that you guys just like to watch me and just listen to me and I know that it's a comfort to you guys when you guys are feeling sick or can't sleep you know Jen was just saying on my last video I like to watch these in the morning when I'm getting ready or if I can't sleep at night and you know I do the same thing and I just think that's so cool and um, let's just continue painful hilarity I just want to continue doing what we're doing and it may not be every single day and I might not exactly know what's going on but I mean I didn't know what was going on this entire year I mean yet today I don't even know what's going on and it's been 365 videos you know so what are you gonna do but uh, I am going to also post a video, the question and answer video, and the giveaway winner announcement thing. I want to wish you guys the very best new year. 
um, don't drink too much tonight so you can celebrate the new year tomorrow. Uh, I'm saying that to myself as much as anyone else because I don't drink ever, but my dad made fresh squeezed orange juice and I'm going to have champagne with it. Yum! Um, and uh, just celebrate it. Um, try not to be depressed. If you are, please, please message me um, or, you know, comment or something like that because I'm so excited about the new year because I have all of you and I want you to know you guys have me. You have me. You had me at Hi Lovelies. Um, I don't know if the beginning of my videos are going to change or the end or I don't know. It's so weird. I just, I feel like it's starting over, but it's not. So yeah, I don't want you guys to be worried. I'm not going anywhere. You guys couldn't get rid of me if you tried. See this face? You love it. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. Please, 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 please don't drive and drink. And please don't drive, period, because other people drive and drink. And I won't be worried about you guys. Please have such a safe New Year's Eve. And I'll be celebrating with you guys. And Happy New Year. And I love you guys so much. I'm sending out X, double O's. And as always... I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, probably, because I can't let go of this just yet. I have to, like, ease into it. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll take it easy. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys. Bye.